Good evening, everyone, and welcome to New Bremen High School, where tonight the homestanding Cardinals welcome in the Coldwater Cavaliers. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside John Zerby and our entire WSN crew. John, we take a look at tonight's matchup and its status quo for <laughs> Coldwater rolling along undefeated. You take a look at New Bremen, John, and this uh, inconsistency right now, coming off a great season last year, you know, playing some different people at quarterback, just not really finding the answers. Yeah, and I think... You know, they've had such a success in the last few years, you know, the state championship in 2022, and then really having a, a long playoff push in the past. You know, what they've lost is David Holman. He was the centerpiece of everything that they've done the last few years. So it's been a season of trying to find a new quarterback, trying to figure out what to do offensively. So, you know, it, the record is a little deceiving because you're going to see a very good new Bremen team tonight. And with the Coldwater Cavaliers, John, just as, as I said, status quo, and they are really, really good. I had them earlier this year against Bell Fountain. They've got the big matchup coming up with Marion Local. Just just everything you want in a high school program. Yeah, Coach Otten is, is truly one of the best. I mean, if you look at the MAC, they have several of the best coaches in Ohio, I believe that. But Coach Otten, one of the things I love about his teams are – is they're just clean. The biggest thing is they, they, they preach balance. You see a spread offense, but they're always balanced run and pass, and I think that's defensively really tough to, to compete with. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. The People's Bank are presenting sponsors. So Coldwater will kick off to New Bremen. John, finally got some cool weather tonight. We've had such a... <laughs> I'm not complaining. We've had great weather, but tonight the temperatures are starting to fall, the leaves are starting to turn. It's football season. You know, and this is like... After after the game, let's have a bonfire kind right. of night. You know what I mean? We have not had that at all. We've been sweating, you know, all season and finally get some cool weather, and it just makes it fun on a Friday night in New Bremen, Ohio. Absolutely. So we are underway here from New Bremen Stadium. The Coldwater Cavaliers kicking off to the Cardinals. They'll take it at about the goal and let it go into the end zone, be a fair catch. That was number 22 for New Bremen. That was Brett Schaefer. The 5'8 senior lets it go in, and here come the Cardinals. They'll be led on the field by number six, quarterback Keaton Putoff. He's 43 of 79 for 582 yards and four touchdowns. And, John, that's been the problem this year, not with Keaton Putoff, but the fact that they've had to play several quarterbacks. Yeah, I think they've really been trying to find that answer, like we mentioned just a minute ago, losing David Holman, and he was the centerpiece of their offense the last several years. So finally settle, settling on Keaton Putoff. Nice size, 6'3", 195. We'll see what he can do here. He's got some guns, too, man. <laughs> so we are underway here. He's in the gun. He's got two to the right, one to the left. He's going to roll to his right. He's under pressure, and he's going to be taken down. And that looks to me like Aaron Teeman with the ball in there, John. We were told that Keaton Putoff was starting tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, Danny. Uh, he, he looks big. I mean, and that that yeah, that is. is that does look like uh, the, uh, Keaton Putoff, but he's wearing number one, so we might need to get some clarification on yeah, that. Yeah, we may have a, an issue with that, but I had him listed as number six in the program, uh, so we'll, we'll clarify that. So here come the Cardinals, second and 13 from the 17, 11.30 to go. they got a man in motion. They've got one in the slot. He's going to roll to his right. He's under pressure. He's going to keep it himself. And he finds a seat, and he is going down. Oh, he gets tripped up. And, John, he just about got through there. Well, I'll tell you what, what a great uh, saving tackle there uh, by Brady LaFeld there because if he doesn't make that play, then it's a touchdown. And what a great start for New Bremen getting almost Didn't get a first down. It looked like it was almost going to be a touchdown. <laughs> Unbelievable. The demon with the scramble goes through the line, just about gets there. That will bring up third and one, as the marker indicates. Demon's in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. He's got a man in the slot. He's going to hand it off to the first man up front, and it is going to be close, and he's going to get a first down. So our first down sponsor tonight is Structure. Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. It was a nice tackle by LaFeld again, getting up there and getting that pressure. And Coldwater's going to do a lot of different things defensively, but I like this, this first uh, uh, initial uh, drive by New Bremen getting out and, and showing their aggressiveness. That'll bring up first and 10, 10.45 to go. Danny Hilbert, John Zerby from New Bremen High School. Cardinals come in at three and four, two and three in the MAC. They'll go in the gun again. This is Teeman keeping the ball to the right. Tries to get around to the edge, and he's going to be taken down. A nice job by that Coldwater defensive line. And that is the strength of this team is that defense. John, they are just fantastic. Give up 10 points a game. Look, when you're in the back and you're giving up 10 points a yeah. game, you're pretty good defensively. You know, one of the things I've always loved about Coldwater, same thing here, A.J. Harlemert comes up from a corner position to make the play. 
their defensive line so active, their linebackers run to the ball, but watch their safeties not only play the pass game well, but they're going to see them in the run game making tackles all night. It's really tough to get a safety to do that. Here comes Teeman in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. He's going to keep it himself. He goes right up the middle. He gets across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. And, John, let's take a look at that uh, cold water defense. Well, looking at them, I mean, they're just they, they got some players who've been there for many years, the Andrew jo Jones, Troy Milligan, uh, Will Berry, Mason Welch. And then you're going to hear this name a lot tonight, Cody Depweg. He's just a guy he's who's really all good. over the ball. He's not he's not real big, but he's just an incredible player. But Jack Evans, another one, Miles Potcutter, Brady LaFeld, Austin Hamilton, Gavin Zabrita, uh, Brady Harlemer, and A.J. Harlemer. So Tiemann's in the gun on a third and four from the 37-yard line. He's got two back on the side of him. He's going to roll off to the left. He looks to throw, and he's under heavy pressure, and he's going to be taken down by a host of Coldwater Cavaliers. Yeah, start with Miles Potcutter playing that defensive end position, doing an awesome job of just staying home and then, you know, flying from the uh, up and making sure that there was going to be a contain there, and now it's going to push New Bremen to punt on fourth down. And that's the one thing that the coaches talked about. They needed to have ball control drives to keep that Coldwater off offense off the field. I think, you know, you don't have to necessarily score every drive. That's just, a great you point. You know what I mean? Yep. But you do need to take time off the clock because the last thing you want to do is put cold water's offense on the field. So New Bremen in punt formation, a nice punt. It goes to about the 40-yard line, and uh, that is exactly at the 40-yard line, and that's where the Coldwater Cavaliers will take over. John Coldwater comes in at 7-0, 5-0 in the MAC. They average 35 points a game. They give up 10 a game, and you want to talk about a balanced, consistent team. You're looking at it tonight. Yeah, and you know, schematically, they don't do anything real special. They're always, but they're just solid. Like, they, they do everything correct, and they don't make mistakes. And when you can score consistently and then defend defensively, you really put yourself in position to be at the top of the league. And they are led on the field by Balin Blockberger, 88 of 134 for 100, or excuse me, 1,421 yards, 19 touchdowns, and five interceptions. And, John, when they're running the ball and they're running at their best, it's Cody Depwig, 38 carries, 283 yards, four touchdowns. But, John, he averages almost eight yards a carry. Well, and, and you know, they, they spread the ball around. I mean, they, he's not the only one carrying the ball. And there's other guys that are going to carry the ball. So, you know, if, if he would be carrying the ball at eight yards a pop, he'd be almost a 1,000-yard rusher right now. But that's what I love about them is they do mix it up. They spread it around to different guys. Guys are fresh when they carry the football. That'll bring up second and four from the 46th. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got a receiver to his right, two to the left. He's going to hand it to Depwick. Depwick goes around the left side looking for daylight. A nice job by number 88 for the New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, Owen Rindler playing a great job, doing a great job at that outside linebacker position, coming up in that 3-4 defense and making sure that they didn't break a team there. That's really hard when you're a young defensive end and staying home. You want to follow the ball, and you you know you're looking at that quarterback, and he did a great job of staying home. He really did. I mean, you know, you teach kids to be aggressive and get off the ball, and then you tell them to stand there and wait. That's just really <laughs> difficult for them to do. That's a great point. So, so that's, that's a great, great job. <laughs> That'll bring up third and three from the 47. Blockberger's in the gun. He's going to hand it up to Depwig. Depwig is right up the middle, and a big time first down. And there you saw the strength of Cody Depwig. Yeah, and, and thankfully Keaton Putoff was there to make that tackle. If he doesn't, Cody. Depweb is going to break that one, but strength is big. Cody Depweb, you know, looking at him last year, he was nice size. He did a lot of good things, but you know, this year he's 6'2", 220. Danny, he's he's really put on some, some <laughs> yeah. mass this year. He looks great out <laughs> Somebody there. Somebody showed him where the weight room was, and that's another structure first down. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Layfield Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. This is Blockberger in the gun. He's got three to the right. He's going to look off to the left. He's going to throw deep down the left side. He's got a man out there and a nice reception, and he'll take it into the end zone. you got to be kidding me. What a grab by number six for the Cavaliers. That's A.J. Harlemer. You're going to hear his name a lot. He can do it all. He can play receiver. He can play running back. He can play quarterback. But the, the, the crazy thing about that is that ball was a little bit underthrown. A.J. Harlemer went up, got it, and made sure he found the end zone. And a fantastic job by that young man. He high-pointed that ball, John, and I, I thought there was going to be an interception. Yeah. That's how the play looked yep. to me. And the Cavaliers take a quick 6-0 lead on a nice pitching catch from, Bl excuse me, Balen Blockberger to his main target, A.J. put off. So. And I think if you're Coach Schmidt, from New Bremen, that's frustrating because you schematically did everything correct, <laughs> right. but physically <laughs> right. they just made the play. And the kick is up, and it is good. So with 6.43 to go, the 
Coldwater Cavaliers strike first. They lead 7-0. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School, where with 6.43 to go, the Coldwater Cavaliers take a 7-0 lead over the New Bremen Cardinals. There's the kick. It'll be taken at about the five-yard line. He'll go across the 15 to the 20, and that's where he'll be taken down about the 22-yard line. Well, one of the things you always know about Coldwater, too, is, is offensively always doing things right, defensively always sound, but the third phase of the game, the uh, the special teams. Coach Otten does a great job of making sure his special teams are solid and giving themselves great field position as the night goes on. So here come the new Bremen Cardinals. They'll get a second chance here in the first quarter to strike back down seven nothing. This is Aaron Teeman in the gun. He's got two to the right, two to the left. They'll start at the 22 yard line. They've got a man in the slot position. Teeman's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. And he's going to get maybe a yard, if that. And there you see the strength of that cold water defense, that defensive line, really aggressive. Yeah, some of those guys, you know, opening up Andrew Jones. I mean, I, I love the way he plays that defensive inside. But Troy Milligan does a really good job inside of, of holding his base. And that allowed Cody Depwood there to come up, make the tackle for really a short game. And they're, they're going to have a long night if they can't get something on first down, John, because you don't want to get stuck in that third and long. And New Bremen wants to run the ball. I mean, they're, they're really, you know, looking at a different quarterback every week now. They don't want to throw the ball if they don't have to. Here's Teeman scrambling. He's under heavy pressure, and he just flips it out there, and it's picked off, picked off by number two for the Coldwater Cavaliers, and that is Gavin Zabridia, and he makes the reception. Yeah, Gavin Zabridia, he's tough. I'll tell you what, defensively just did what he was supposed to, dropped in his zone, hung out and waited, and when the ball was kind of lofted up in the air, he made a jump on it, made a nice – the other thing I like what he did was he caught the ball and made sure that his one foot was in bounds exactly. to get that pick. That'll be a great instant replay. Our instant replay tonight is Homan's Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. Homan Insurance is our instant replay sponsor. So here come the Cavaliers. They're up 7 nothing with great field position, John, on the 34-yard line. Yeah, great field position. And, you know, this is not something that New Bremen wants to do, to give the make a turnover and then give Coldwater the ball this deep. They'll hand the ball off. They'll go to the left side. And a nice little run there by number four, Braylon Harleman as you uh, see him try to get to the edge, and he's taken down by the New, New Bremen defense. Yeah, and defensively, New Bremen's doing a nice job of, of, of really, really one play has been the, the issue, was that great play by A.J. Harlemer, but uh, Coldwater already trying to get different. I mean, I think they've had a different guy touch the ball every single play. <laughs> they've got so many athletes out there, John. That'll bring up second and six from the 30 with 5.24 to go. Blockburger's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. A little delayed handoff, and that's going to cause a, uh, the new Bremen defensive line to get all over that. That handoff went to number 22 for Coldwater, and that is Jack Ebbing. You'll hear his name a lot tonight, the fullback. The 5'10 senior gets to carry the ball a few times. Yeah, great defensive stop by Hayden Zeller, 6'5", uh, 205 senior. Hayden's been a, a three-year starter, done a really nice job, but... You know, you can see New Bremen. Just when you think Coldwater is starting to get some momentum, I love the fight in New Bremen. Yeah, it's, it, it was almost a delayed handoff, but the New Bremen defensive line got such a good push that they were in the backfield before the ball was handed off. So here come the Cavaliers. They'll hand the ball off again up the middle, and that handoff goes to number four, Braylon Harleman. That's his second carry in the last three tries, and they're not, they're not getting much there, and that'll bring up uh, fourth and five. Yeah, nice tackle by Jonathan Heitkamp by the Cardinals, but that does, it kind of brings up an interesting situation. You're past the 50, it's early in the game. You know, I think you have to go for it. Yeah, here. I was going to say, they're kind of in no man's lane. They're not going to kick the field goal here. It's, it's You, you don't want to punt the ball. Sure. I, I, I got to believe they're going to go for it. That's exactly what they're going to do, and they'll bring out the offensive unit. Nalen Blockberger, he'll go in the gun. He's got Jack Ebbing off to his right. He's got a receiver to the left, a receiver to the right. Lockberger looks down the field. He's going to throw down the left side. He's got his man down there, and no catch. What a nice job. He was guarded as tight as you can guard by number 14. That was Grant Dickey. 
What a great job by that defensive back. Well, and A.J. Harlemer ran really the same route, and that was a better ball this time. It um, was, It really right. was, and, and, and Harlemer went up with one hand, but Grant Dickey did a really nice job of running step to step and making sure that he was there to, to make it really a, a great defensive stop for the Cardinals. And, John, I don't have any problem with that call. That's aggressive play calling. Coldwater came here to win the game, and that's exactly what the, that's the kind of play calling you'd, you'd expect out of them. So that'll be a turnover on downs. First and 10 from the 29 with 3.56 to go. Cardinals trying to get back in this one, down 7 nothing. A.J. Aaron, excuse me, Aaron Teeman in the gun. He's got one in the slot. He's got a back on his right side. He'll hand the ball off to the man in motion. He tries to get around the edge, and that's where he'll be taken down. That was handoff to number 15, Rogan Muther, the 5'11 junior with the carry. Yeah, and one of the things I love about uh, Coldwater defensively, nice play, good start for New Bremen, but... You know, Gavin Zabrito, just in a, a play ago, making an interception, he's also the one making the tackle on this play. So they yeah. do it all. One of the things I noticed, Danny, on that play is all 11 cold water defenders are less than 10 yards. <laughs> they are playing <laughs> up. There is no one yeah. deep. They are really begging them to yes. throw the ball here. So here come the Cavaliers. Excuse me. Here come the Cardinals, second and seven from the 32. Team is going to roll to his right. He's under heavy pressure. And he fumbles the ball, and I think he may have got it back. And there is a... Let's see if he got it. It went up in the air, John, but yeah. I'm not real sure. And then New Bremen did get it back. Yeah, they're lucky. Miles Potcutter put his helmet right on the football, and the ball bounced straight up in the air and right into – and I don't know if uh, Aaron – I couldn't really see it if Aaron Tiemann uh, recovered it or not, but fortunately the Cardinals will retain possession here. <laughs> I don't think they care who recovered no, it. So <laughs> that would have been a second, uh, <laughs> second turnover there back deep in their own territory. So that'll bring up third and nine from the 30. And this is exactly what Coldwater wants to put them in is third and long. And still even defensively, the deepest guy they have right now is at six yards. <laughs> so Tiemann takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself as he tries to go through the line. There's a flag, and there is a collision in the middle of the field, John. Aaron Tiemann is short of a first down, but we'll see what this flag is all about. Yeah, he ran smack dab into Cody Depweg. And I wouldn't uh, want to do that. No, I, you know what, 6'2", 220, I think I'd go the other way. But yeah. it, it looks like they're going to go ahead and get New Bremen here for a holding. You are exactly right, John Zerby. It's holding on New Bremen. They'll decline the penalty. And that'll bring up fourth down. And you know, if you're New Bremen, you're starting to see it. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to kind of look at the statistics and see what's been happening. But right now, they're they're struggling because a lot of their run game is coming from their quarterback position, which is okay. But there's not a lot of play action, right. a lot of fakes. It's a lot of direct snap, and it's making it really easy for Coldwater to defend. AJ Harlem is back deep for the Cavaliers. He'll take the punt go about the 35. He bobbles the ball and the ball's loose and it is recovered by New Bremen. And John, that's the break they needed and the Cardinal faithful are on their feet. Well, I'll tell you, Coach Chris Schmidt, one of the things he said was that they just have to get lucky. They have to have an opportunity. He said it like this, I hope they have a turnover, is how he said it. And they just got one. And you can see the student section. I'm not sure what that is. Baby powder or whatever. But <laughs> I'm going to go with baby powder and flour, but it's everywhere. <laughs> it's a fog delay on the field. And you see the student section all dressed in white. That's great. That's a lot of, that's kids having fun. This is high school football. This is good stuff. That is. So here come the Cardinals, first to 10 from the 37, getting the break they needed. A.J. Teeman in the gun. He's got a back off to his right. He's got two receivers to the right and one to the left. They'll motion out Parker Aarons. And that's who gets the ball. He gets around the right side. He's going to pick up about five yards. So a nice job by Arns to get around the right side. I like that play call. I, you know, we just talked about it a minute ago. You know, really, um, the quarterback position, Tiemann's been their main runner. But I liked how they motioned him out of the backfield there. And they immediately were able to get the ball out quickly and let him to get positive yards. And, John, John you see the momentum on, yep. the, on the cold, or the, excuse me, the new Bremen sideline. The kids are up. They're excited. They're, they're in deep down in cold water territory. Just the break they needed. You know, and, and here's the thing. Like especially in the MAC and with teams like New Bremen who've been so successful, you might you might have a record of three and four, but you're you've got you're good. <laughs> you're you know? good. And you're so real good. On yeah. a special night, on a night like this, you can improve and compete with a team like Coldwater. So here's Teeman in the gun. He's got a man in motion, and they're going to take a timeout. New Bremen is going to talk about this one with 1:23 to go in the first quarter. The New Bremen Cardinals are down to the Coldwater Cavaliers. When we come back, we'll have further action right here on WSN.
back here at New Bremen High School where the uh, white powder is still flowing out of the student <laughs> section. I feel and like they've been elected a new pope. I or know, something, right? You know, and, <laughs> And it's just, I don't know. Those kids are having a blast down there, and they are throwing either flour or baby powder or something, but it's, it's quite funny. Uh, so congratulations to the student section for being creative. <laughs> so here come the Cardinals, second and five from the 32. Teeman's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's got two receivers to the right. He's going to hand off a little jet sweep here. He'll carry around the left side looking for a block, and he gets a break. He goes out of bounds at about the 22-yard line, and there you saw number 15 for the Cardinals. Yeah, a great run by Rogan uh, Muther there uh, just to not only get around, but he made a nice cut because it was actually defended well, but he cut it up inside yeah. and was able to get additional yardage. So they've used Rogan Muther quite a few times tonight as he carries the ball there, and he picks up another structure first down. Here's team and keeping it himself as he goes through that cold water defensive line. And he's going to pick up a nice six, seven yard gain there, close to a first down. And there you see the strength of Aaron Team. And now you see why they're running quite a bit. Jim. Right, you do. And, and he's they've been their leading rusher. He's, you know, ran a, a ton of times, 76 times this year. But one of the things I liked that they did was they ran the same motion they ran just to play a go that they threw it out into the flat. But this time they had team and kind of just fake it and get up in there. That's the play action that you need to get these yards. And they are knocking on the door, Danny. Yeah, John, he, he averages 5.4 yards a carry. He's got over 400 yards this year, so he's a really good athlete when he's got the ball in his hands. And this style of offense, that's what they need. It centers around the quarterback, and for him to be making these plays right now is definitely needed. So here's teaming again as he'll go up the middle, and boy, he was met really quick there by big number 78, Will Berry, the 6'3 junior, just come out of nowhere and knocks him down. Well, Will Berry, I mean, he's just active. I mean, he's playing this defensive end position, but the thing about him is he can move. I mean, he's he's shown in the past that he can move, and that's the thing about this defensive line from Coldwater. If you look at them on the field, they're not these big, heavy set kids that just plug gaps. They are active. They can move. They can get up and down the field. So that'll do it after one quarter of play for New Bremen High School. The Cardinals knocking on the door. They're down 7-0. We'll have second quarter action right after these messages. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities we serve. Your bank, your way. The People's Bank is tonight's presenting sponsor. So, John, if New Bremen can knock it in right here, tie this thing up, or at least get close to them, gives them all kinds of momentum. Absolutely. And, you know, Coach Schmidt wanted to have long drives. This has been a long drive. It ended that first quarter. They got out of the first quarter with a 7 0 lead driving deep in cold water territory. I'm guessing he'd take this position that they're in. Here's Teeman in the gun. He's got one in motion. He's got two to the left. Teeman's is going to keep it himself, go right up the middle, and he gets a nice block. And he gets about a four-yard gain, and he is slammed down to the ground. So Aaron Teeman continues to be the bell cow right now for the new Bremen Cardinals. He gets that nice first down, and if it's not for Deppweg making the tackle, he's walking in the end zone. But, you know, I can't help to think that because they've run Teeman so much, you're about to see some kind of play action or something happen here, especially deep in the red zone here, to, to try to fool up the, uh, the Cavalier defense. So that'll bring up first and eight from the, or excuse me, first and goal from the eight yard line. Teeman's going to keep it himself as he tries to go right and picks up maybe a yard or two. To the six, and they're going to continue running Teeman right off that right side. As they see something over there they like, something that uh, favors them in a matchup. Well, one of the things that you know I seen right away is is really a great kickout block by Hayden Zeller. He's kind of playing. It's it's interesting. They have all these guys listed as tight ends, and they're all know, playing right? fullback. You know, right? Um, Hayden but, uh, Zeller's a big kid. Yeah, he's a big kid, and <laughs> what a great uh, kickout block. But I think what they're doing is really trying to play a spread side of the field to the wide side and playing more of a big side to the short side. Here goes Teeman in the gun. He's got Trevor Schaefer off to his left. He's got a receiver to the left. And there you see the big tight end on the right side. Team is going to keep it himself. He tries to go around the right side, and he's going to be taken down about the three-yard line, so inching closer to the goal line. And this is getting fun, John. This will bring up third and goal. Yeah, and you can see this stingy cold water defense making plays here on the goal line. That was Mason Welch coming in and stepping up from that safety position. But, you know, I really like Aaron Teeman. I mean, I'm telling so you I. what. So he, in just a few plays here, one quarter of football. You I know, like his competitiveness. I he, do, too. Yeah, he just drives. And, and you saw when they put uh, Hayden Zeller on the right side, they like to run behind that big frame. 
So they've got Zeller off to Tiemann's right. They've got two receivers to the left. They'll go third and goal. Tiemann will take the snap. He's going to run behind Zeller. Does he get in? And no, they're saying he is short. That's yeah. going to bring up a fourth and goal. John, he followed right behind the big tight end, Hayden Zeller, yep. and he falls short. So a big fourth down. Yeah, Coldwater defense stiffened up there. Troy Milligan came from his defensive tackle position. I love this call here, fourth and short. And I'll be honest with you, they had three tight ends on, on that formation to the right side. I, I think you kind of come back with the same thing because you only have about a, a yard to go here. I, I would say the same thing, John. I, I would imagine if, if I were doing it, I would want to get Teeman out into some space and let him create. I wonder push if you'll, through. you'll see a timeout here at all. So Teeman goes under center. He goes straight up the middle, and he is getting pushed in. Let's see if he gets in. And they're saying touchdown, touchdown, New Bremen. It took a while, John, but Ooh. they gave him the call. I'll tell you, I, I like the formation. They went out with trips, but then they brought Aaron Tiemann under center, and it's kind of like that Philadelphia push, you know. I mean, they got going there, and all you see was low pads and butts in the air, and boy, he finally got that touchdown and there. And more powder from the students. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The local grocery, you don't <laughs> plan on baking anything this weekend. There's the no flour got left. All the flour, that's right. So here's the try for the point after. The snap is back, the hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. So with 9.16 to go, homecoming here at New Bremen, the Cardinals have tied it up seven apiece. Back here at New Bremen High School with 9.16 to go. Danny Holbrook, John Zerby, we are knotted up at seven. And, and John, we were talking off the air, and boy, you saw the toughness of the New Bremen Cardinals. They kind of pushed cold water around that drive. Well, they got aggressive, and they found something that you mentioned in that drive. They found something that they like, especially on that right side of the yeah. offensive line, and they just kept coming after it. And the thing is It wasn't is anything that, fancy. They just kept going. No, absolutely not. And they just kept coming after them. And that's just, you know, this is just what's fun about MAC football is that these two teams, no matter the record, they just get after it. Absolutely. So there's a Deep kick that they'll let go over the head of the intended target there, and Coldwater will take over at the 20. So John Coldwater comes in rushing for, uh, let's see, 174 attempts, 705 yards, and passing for 219 yards a game, 18 touchdowns, very balanced offense. And that's what that's always what Coach Otten has strived for. I mean, I, I swear he's got a statistician down there that says, hey, you need, <laughs> we need to, to even you, this yeah, up. Yeah, come on. That's a great point. <laughs> so here's Blockberger in the gun. He's got trips off to his left, and he's got a single receiver to the right. He looks to the right, throws it, and a strike right on the right side. And that'll bring up another structure first down. And you talk about a bullet, John. He really got it over to A.J. Harleman. Yeah, Braden Blockberger, I mean, all he's done this year is grow. I mean, he <laughs> got a little bit of time last year as a sophomore towards the end of the season uh, when, when Blasting Game went out of the, you know, out of the, was hurt in, late in the season, but he has just matured, and you could see in that fire that he had there on that and arm. that wasn't an easy catch as, as A.J. Harleman went over the middle, and he had three defensive backs on him. So here comes Blockberger again, throws to the right side. He's got his man out there. That's number 14 for the Coldwater Cavaliers. That is Mason Welsh. So here come the Cavaliers, not backing down. They're throwing her through the air, and with 8.40 to go, they're threatening again. Yeah, and, and Grant Dickey defended that play very well, but that's the thing, you know, we, we've talked about it earlier, there's so many people involved in this offense. You know, we're looking at New Bremen, you know, they're very much uh, Aaron Team and Dominic <laughs> right, yeah. right here. It's just, it's a different name every time. That'll bring up second and five from the 41, 8.20 to go. Blockberger's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. Gets through the line for a nice big 12-yard gain. That'll be another structure first down. And this is what they do. They're going to pick on you through the air. You know, they're going to run slants. They're going to run hitches. And then they're going to come running back right at you. Um, they're fortunate that Brady Keller made that play there because if he doesn't, Miles Potcotter probably could have picked up another 20 yards. It seems like Miles Potcotter has been at Coldwell a long time. We had him last year and this year, and he's a quality he's a, back. He, he's an eighth-year senior, That's believe right. me. I feel like he's been here forever. <laughs> Blockberger throws it out to the right. Oh, almost gets away from number four, the intended target for Braylon Harleman. There you saw Blockberger, and that's really the first bad pass Blockberger's had all night. Yeah, and I like that play call, especially on first down, because 
if you complete, it's really an easy pass for the quarterback. I know he overthrew it there, but if you, if you complete it, it's kind of like running an old sweep. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, really is. They, they, get, they get out there, but if they overthrow it, there's no one there. So it, it's really a safe play. I like that play call. So here comes Blockberger in the gut. Second and 10 from the 48. He's got two to the right, one to the left, and he's got a back on each side of his hips. He'll take the snap. Hand, oh, he's going to keep it himself. He's going to roll to the right. And he flips it out there. And a nice reception there by number 24, Miles Potcutter. Almost a long handoff there, yep. John. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, they, they faked it to him. They ran play action and threw it out to him in the flat. And he was just off balance when he caught the ball. He actually went down. No one tackled him. He just went down on his own. You know, and a lot of times on that play that they just ran, the, the linebacker will back off once he sees the back coming out of the backfield. Right. And they take great advantage of just finding him in the open yep, flat. Absolutely. It's sp specifically when they fake it to that back and then exactly. get him out into the backfield. Yep. So great play call. Third and five on the 43, 740 to go. Danny Holbrook and John Zerby from New Bremen High School on a beautiful, crisp fall night. Here comes Blockberg, hands the ball off to the first man up, and he is taken down. He is going to be short of a first down, John, and that went to number 24, Miles Potcutter, and a big decision here, and they're at about the 42-yard line, John. Yeah, this is, you know, I think if you're Coach Otten, because of what your defense have, has done and how aggressive and how, you know, they've been all year long, you go ahead and go for it. Um, you know, in this game, it's going to be a close game. Yeah. I, I, I think that they know that you have to be aggressive and can't get off the puddle. I'm just going to say this right now. Now, if New Bremen gets a stop here, you're going to see this home crowd <laughs> just go crazy. So I'm going to go. say you're going to see a lot of flour <laughs> if they get a stop. <laughs> the snap back. He's going to roll off to his left. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got a man out there in a nice play call. And Harlem makes the reception in a beautiful play call as they pick up another structure first down. Well, one of the great things that you've seen that Braid Balen Brockberger did was is he's rolling to his left, but he stopped, turned his shoulders, and found A.J. Harlem over the middle. And he was right in the middle of that. That right was in the just middle. amazing. And that is a hard throw to make. Absolutely. So there goes the Coldwater Cavaliers right down the field as the ball is at the 28-yard line. First and 10, 6.35 to go. It's all tied up here at seven. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got trips off to his right. He's got a single receiver to the left. He's going to hand it off to the up man coming the first one through. And that, again, is Miles Potcutter. So Potcutter's been the bell cow this entire drive. Yeah, and I think they like to rotate guys that are getting you know more time in, in each series. Um, Potcutter does a really nice job. He's a really nice runner. I mean, he, they have several guys to choose from, but I really like the, how he runs low to the ground and he keeps his head and his shoulders forward. So we are creeping under the six-minute mark here in the first half, all tied up at seven. We'll go second and five from the 23. Blockberger's got a back on his left and his right and single receivers to the right. No hand of the first man up. This is number 22 and a nice, nice gain for number 22, Jack Ebbing. We've called his name tonight, and he'll pick up another structure first down. Yeah, they've had Pot Cutter and Ebbing in the backfield a lot this time. Really great tackle, too, by New Bremen. Jonathan Heitkamp, he's made the, actually the last two or three tackles. He's doing a really nice job from that inside linebacker position. But Coldwater now getting some momentum. They're taking time off the clock and moving the yeah, ball. Yeah, that's a great point, John, I wanted to bring up, is that when, when, when New Bremen had the momentum, Coldwater's almost like, hey, we're going to get physical. We're going to push you around a little bit, and that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, and I think that in, in a game like this of, of equals, I mean, I know Coldwater has a better sure. record, but momentum is going to be huge. So here's the handoff. They'll go to the left side, and <laughs> Miles Pockhutter tried to get around the left side, but a great job by number 74 for the Cardinals. Yeah. That is Noah Kelly. Yeah, Noah Kelly playing that defensive end position. Now, they're in a 3-4 defense, which requires him to be active, but he did a really good job of coming from the backside and making a big play on first down. Bring up second and 11 from the 17. New Bream, or excuse me, Coldwater using all of that clock as this goes down towards the halftime moment here with 4.50 to go. Blockberg is in the gun. He's got a back on his left and his right. He's got two receivers to the right and a single receiver on the line of scrimmage on the left. Blockberger takes the snap. He looks across the middle, throws a strike, and it's picked off. It's picked off by New Bremen, and the ball was tipped, and there he is, number six, Keaton Putoff. We haven't mentioned him a lot tonight, but he is a huge piece for this Cardinal team. Well, I'll tell you what, just the fact that the Cardinal defense is making big plays. I mean, they are keeping this 
this new Bremen team in this game, and, out, and, and it's huge, especially when Cole Browder, like I just said a minute ago, getting that momentum, and now they get that momentum shift back into their favor. John, we were talking to several people here in the booth before the game, and a lot of people, they felt really good about this game tonight. They said, look, we know what our record is, but we're getting better each week. And, John, you're seeing the confidence grow well, right here. And, and, you know, you can't – you're not the same team you are in week seven where you were in week one. And you're seeing this new Bremen team really starting to grow and, and build and gain confidence. There's a handoff to Trevor Schaefer, the 5'8", 180-pound senior, barrels through that right side of the line, bring up second and nine from the 17-yard line. But here's the thing, John. Even if they don't score, they kept Coldwater out of the engine, and they're going to flip the field with a good punt if they don't keep the drive alive. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, not every drive has to be a score. What you do need is you need momentum, you need to create some long drives, and you need to get good field position. Even if you get two or three first downs and make a good punt and put Coldwater in, in, in bad field position, you've accomplished what you wanted to. Well, we talked about the coaching staff for New Bremen said they needed turnovers, and they've got it right here. Here's Aaron Tiemann going up the middle. They fake the sweep, and here Tiemann is pushing that line. My goodness, John, he's going to pick up five yards just on pure will. Listen, <laughs> Coach Chris Schmidt <laughs> is an amazing coach. Um, but Aaron Tiemann is the real deal quarterback. <laughs> like, he's the guy. Like, I know, right? You know, I'm like, you're looking through the stats and you're like, man, I mean, he is the man. What a yes. great run by Tiemann. <laughs> and he's not afraid to go up against that cold water defensive interior. 319 to go, third and two from the 24. So New Bremen desperately needs to pick up two yards here. Tiemann's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the left. Tiemann's going to keep it himself. He goes off the right side and he is met heavily at that line of scrimmage. I don't think he got it, John. No, I don't think so either. And, you know, again, this name, Cody Depweg. I mean, he is everywhere. And he comes up and he's downhill and makes an incredible stop. And now you're in punting position. You can't take this My chance right now. Goodness, Cody Depwig and Aaron Tiemann had a collision. And there is a timeout on the field. Timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout of the booth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. You can watch us anywhere, John. You can see John Zerby if you're in Europe. You can see John Zerby if you're in wherever. If you're in Europe and you're watching John Zerby, <laughs> you've got, you really have to reevaluate your life. I'm telling you that right now, Danny. I would watch you. <laughs> John, that means they're not watching me either. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear me, though, on the radio. That's true. Very good. Yeah, very so. <laughs> and uh, did we get another timeout called here? So we'll keep it right here, but uh, looks like somebody else took another timeout. I'm not real sure. I wasn't. It's two timeouts back to back, so we'll see what happens here. The WSN Score app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. That is a great app. That I'll is a go-to app. Um, you know, it's it's so fun to just look at scores. I mean, I know, I know, you're, right? you're a high school yeah. uh, sports junkie like I oh, am. Absolutely. I just love looking at scores and uh, my wife will be like on a Friday, you know, if we're not working a game <laughs> or something, right. she's like, what are you doing? I'm looking at scores. Like, why do you care about scores? I love yeah. looking at scores. I got to find out who's winning in Northwest Ohio, North right. Central Ohio, West, Southeast Ohio. Exactly. I got to find out. Exactly. It's important. She'll say, what do you care about teams in this area, teams in that area? <laughs> because it matters. <laughs> so here come the Cardinals, fourth and one. They're going to go for wow. it. Are you kidding? They're going to go for it. Team is in the gun. They got a man in motion. He's got one off to the right. One to the left. Are they going to draw him offside? Let's see what they do here. Teeman's going to go up to the line. Clock's down to nine. Play clock's at eight. And they're going to take another timeout. So you wondered what they were doing. You saw Teeman going up, and he was calling the hard count. And Coldwater, to their credit, didn't budge. No, they did not. And, and you know, I like that idea. I like you know, the fact that you have timeouts to burn. There's still only three minutes left in the half. You've got the wind to your back. You're probably going to get a good punt. 
it's it's a great idea. And as aggressive as Coldwater has been defensively, it's not a bad idea to try to get the, a freebie there for a first down. TV 44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. And you saw this week, John, we got the basketball schedule out for oh, WTLW. Man. It's exciting. Oh, we're on all. We're, we're going to be on a lot this winter. I'll, I'll tell you, <laughs> uh, you, you know, it, and it's hard to think that, you know, basketball season is right around the corner. I know, right? But it literally is. <laughs> is. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to, to watch, you know, the football playoffs, but we'll turn right around and get into the basketball season. So New Bremen is going to punt the ball away after that. Uh, tight end and a nice big punt there and I thought he went his knee went down but they're saying no AJ Harlan goes up the middle and he is gone and let's see what and there's a flag comes down now this is going to be interesting John yep. because the new Bremen coaching staff they're on the field and yep. they're saying that his knee was down and I don't know that without instant replay which we have here but we're going to have to take a look at that play. Right, and here's the interesting thing. The official threw down his orange bag, which would typically mean right. the ball's on the ground. Right. So I'm not really sure why he would throw the bag out yeah. unless his knee was down. But there is a flag in the middle of the field, which is probably going to put the ball if yeah. it's holding back to where it would have been anyway. But it's going to be interesting here to see how this it shakes out. It looked to me from the booth, and look, we're, we're yep. ways away, but it did look like his knee was down. Yeah, yep. And, and I can promise you the New Bremen coaching staff agrees with me. <laughs> well, Coach Schmidt was almost to the uh, – Yeah, I saw him I mean, running he, out yeah, there, yeah. yeah. It, it, I thought he, he was going to run the Minster. tackle <laughs> trying to get to the official. <laughs> I thought he was running. Uh, so they'll put it back. Let's see where they put it back. Yes, they are going to say his knee was down. So, But I'm not real sure what the flag was for because we haven't got uh, confirmation on that. But he did touch down at about the 37-yard yeah, line. Yeah, yep. And, you know – I. Sometimes it's not necessarily what the call was. I just get it right. Just yeah, figure right. it out exactly. on the field. Get it right. Make sure it's it's you know fair to both teams. And they did get it right in this one in this situation. And it was funny because as soon as the punt was received, you heard the New Bremen crowd just gasp oh, yeah. because his knee did touch mm -hmm. down. So here comes Blockberger and the Cavaliers. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got a back on his right side. 2.43 to go, first and 10 from the 38. He'll give it to the first man up, and he will be met immediately by that new Bremen defensive line. <laughs> I'm telling you, Hayden Zeller's a player. I mean, he <laughs> is a player. He comes from that defensive end position, and he just latched on. And what the great thing was, once he latched on, Hyde can't came up and clean things up. So here comes Coldwater, a little bit of hurry up there. That was Pot Cutter with a carry for a gain of about, well, they got it second 10, so no gain there. So here's Blockberger. He's going to roll off to his left side, looking to throw, and he's under heavy pressure. He's going to turn it around, reverse it. He's got a man down the right side. He throws it down there, and the reception is made. A.J. Harlemet with the reception, and a flag is down. So we'll see what they call out there. Yeah, you know, they're going to probably call like a face guarding here. I mean, they're, it's going to be pass interference, but, you know, uh, the, the defensive back really never got turned around, and I think almost maybe made contact, but... That's tough because that's such a great defensive play. I, I thought he was running with him uh, step for step. That was uh, Grant Dickey doing an awesome job, and it's uh, the Cardinals are going to pay for really great defense. Yeah, John, that's a great point when you talk about he how he was guarding him. And I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of receivers. I'm not real sure I've seen a better receiver go get the ball like right? A.J. Harleman's doing tonight. He has high-pointed two balls, and he's won the battle on both of them. Well, and, you know, you think about it. I mean, a lot of receivers want to catch the ball in stride. They, they want to get, you know, just goes and gets it. He goes up and gets it. <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is so hard to defend, especially when you're as athletic as he is. So the Coldwater Cavaliers come out first and 10 from the 47. They've got trips to the left. Blockberger takes the snap. He's going to look off to the right side, throw down the middle. And he's got a man down there in a strike right across the 40-yard line. And that was number six. We've called him a few times tonight, A.J. Harleman. And yep. he is really on he, fire. He's special. I mean, he is a great player. Here come the cold or the Cavaliers, and there is a man down. Yeah, Keaton Putoff went down with a. Keaton looks like Putoff he, went down, but he got straight back up, and it looks like it is his shoulder he's yep. carrying, maybe, or his hand, maybe his, his wrist. wrist. Yep. And let's just hope that young man is okay, because he is a huge piece of this new Bremen team. 
So here come the Cavaliers, first and 10 from the 37, 151 to go. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got trips to the left, a single receiver to the right. He throws across the middle, and he's got his man out there as he streaks through the middle of that line. Number four, Braylon Harlemant. Yep. Harlemant uh, connection there, A.J. and Braylon doing all the work tonight. Yep, and, and I like that quick, just get yardage and then get back up to the line. That's probably have called two plays here. There's another play coming. Blockberger's in the gun. He looks across the field. He throws to the left side. He's got his man out there. He goes across the 20 to about the 18, and he'll be taken back across the 20. Number 14, Mason Welsh for the Cavaliers. Nice reception there, and they are staying in the hurry-up offense. Well, and the thing is, they're not they're, they're in the hurry-up, but they're not really running routes downfield. They're running short routes because the Bruins playing off coverage. Handoff to the first man up, Depwig. Cody Depwig, he goes through that line, picks up about two yards. Clock continues to run. Maybe second and seven from the 17. Nice tackle by Owen Rindler there to kind of make sure he didn't get any additional yardage. Here come the Cavaliers threatening to score again, and Blockberger's going to roll to his right. He's got Harleman out there, and he finds him. Nice reception. Harleman just steps out of bounds to stop that clock with 55 seconds to go. Really a great timing route. They, they negated the zone by getting two guys deep, and then Harlem slid to the open spot. But what I like about it is, is it's a sideline play so that he can step out of bounds. Now they can kind of get resettled, huddle, and get a play call in. And there is a flag on the field on the far side, and it is going to be illegal motion against the Cavaliers, so they'll walk that off. It'll take it back to about the 22-and-a-half, 23-yard line. Bring up second and 12 from the 22. And I love what Chris Schmidt said before the game. He said, you know, hopefully we can have them create a turnover, which has happened, and hopefully we can, you know, have them create some penalties. Those things are, un are, are, are uncharacteristic of a cold water team. It's helping New Bremen stay in this game. 55 seconds ago, second and 12 from the 22. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got three to the right, two to the left. Blockberger looks across, and they'll stop the play. And there is a timeout, timeout from New Bremen. So, John... New Bremen's bend but don't break defense right now, and they're keeping them out of the end zone. 53 seconds to go. Yeah, they, they've done a great job. Of, they've, they've given up plays. I mean, they've given up the short stuff, but what I like about them is they tackle. I mean, there's not they're not breaking tackles and, and making mistakes. I like what Coach Schmidt did there. That's the first time we've seen empty formation. There was some confusion about how to cover that, so they immediately they had one timeout left. They burnt that last timeout. With 53 seconds to go, that timeout is important to get settled here to make sure that you can get uh, in the best position possible to get these next three stops. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Layfeld Westing, excuse me, Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supplies. I think the cold weather is affecting my uh, speech here. And, I, and it's not cold, John. It's nice. <laughs> We're used to like 85. I know. That's so why I said it's is, cold. It's, yeah. I think it's like 62. It's, yeah, it's, it's cold. It's <laughs> My wife will have to have to turn the heater on tonight for that. <laughs> we were in Las Vegas in February, and it was like 62 degrees, and the people were bundled up out there, and my wife and I were walking around in shorts and T-shirt, and they were looking exactly. at us like we were just morons. <laughs> so here we go, 53 seconds to go. Coldwater trying to take the lead here, all knotted up at 7. And folks, stick around for this, for this one. We're going to have a great second half because this is a tight one. Coldwater at the 22-yard line. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got a man in the slot off to the right. He's going to roll off to the right. He throws. Oh, he no, doesn't throw. He keeps himself, and he reverses field, and he's going to be taken down into the 20-yard line and a big-time play by the New Bremen defense. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That was that was awesome. Noah Kenning, what a great job of just uh, pursuing and getting after it there. Nolan Kenning. Never gave up and really made a great play. I thought Blockberger there was going to maybe break the corner and get some yardage, but what a great job defensively. He cut back through the middle of the yep. line, and the, and the great job of New Bremen is staying home, and they really took him down. Picked up maybe a yard because we were at second and 12. Mm -hmm. Now they're listening at third and 11 from the 21. So tonight's instant replay sponsor is Holman Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations in Shoreview in Chickasaw and Versailles. Holman Insurance is our instant replay sponsor and our, our guys and our girls and our camera crew, they do a great job out here. Now now Jacob O'Neill has to deal with the elements. When I say elements, it's 62. He's probably, yeah. he's probably pretty uh, pretty cold out there. You know, he's going to be down here in the press box <laughs> at halftime. You know? Well, there's food down here. Yeah, so well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, good point. <laughs> 41 seconds to go, brings up third and 11 from the 21. And, you know, in, in this situation, Danny, if you're Coach Otten, you really, 
you don't have a ton of plays to choose from because you really want to get a first down, but um, you don't have any timeouts left. So the reality is is that you're going to have to look at maybe taking a shot at the end zone because if you do get a first down, you're going to have gonna to hurry up. It's going to you're right. So yeah. it, it's really a, a tricky a situation to call plays here. So the new Bremen faithful are on their feet, and the, you can hear the cowbells out there. Third and 11, 41 seconds to go. Coldwater trying to spoil homecoming night. Here's Blockberger. He throws down the right side. He's going to overshoot his receiver and almost a catch, but I thought it was going to go farther into the end zone. Yeah. But he circled around, and it's a missed reception. That'll bring up fourth down. I like the scheme defensively. They brought five. They brought pressure. I think if, you, if you're going to play coverage, let's just be honest, Coldwater's got athletes. Yeah. So the way to negate all those athletes is to bring pressure, and, and, and they did that. I, won't, I, I wouldn't be shocked on fourth and 11 here to see the same thing. Well, John, look, if you can get pressure with a four or five man front, you're really helping your defensive backfield out a lot, and that's exactly what you saw there. So here we go, John, fourth and 11 from the 21, 35 seconds to go, Blockberger's in the gun. He's got trips to the right, two receivers to the left. He's going to take the snap. He looks across the field. He's going to throw it in the middle, and he's got a man right there for a cold water. Let's see, do they call a touchdown? They're calling it a touchdown. What a pitching catch to number 11, Ethan Elander catches the ball in the end zone. And where has he come from? I mean, Ethan <laughs> Elander, we haven't heard from him whole, the whole game. I love the play call because they go empty, which negates pressure. Instead of bringing five, uh, New Bremen has to bring four. They run Ethan Elander over the middle into the open gap, and what a beautiful throw by Braylon, uh, Balen Blockberger. You saw Balen Blockberger under a little bit of pressure. John, he just steps up in the pocket. He's got such good footwork, and he steps up in the pocket and what a cannon he threw there. And I'll tell you, I give a ton of credit to Elander for catching that ball and taking a shot. He did. He, yeah, he went down it. hard. There's the after, there's the point after attempt. It is up and it is good. So with 28 seconds to go, the Coldwater Cavaliers flexing their muscles a little bit. They take a 14 to 7 lead here on homecoming. So 28 seconds to go. Yeah. A lot of breath, John, there. <laughs> that was a really nice drive. You know, and and Here's the thing. I mean, this is typical of cold water, but you know, you feel the you feel the the new Bremen side kind of it's kind of quiet, and you feel like ah, oh, we gave that up. But I'm telling you right now, if 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 it's uh, six o'clock tonight, and you tell Coach Schmidt, hey, we're oh, gonna go right, into halftime right. down 14-7, he would have taken that. So new Bremen doing an excellent job. I know the, they had their wind t uh, taken out of their sails a little bit on that last play, well, but but they're in this game. Look, if you're new Bremen's coaching staff, you take your kids in the locker room, you tell, look, we can score on them, we can move the ball, we can defend Absolutely. them, we can get turnovers, we can win this game. And if you're cold water, you tell your kids. Look, Look, we can drive against these guys all night. So a little bit of chess match here. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing that I love about this is that I think that they're going to have to be some adjustments at halftime. I mean, and that's the beauty of this <laughs> yeah. game is that, you know, you got two coaches who have state titles in their in their back pockets, and they're going to go at halftime, and they're going to change some things up, and I love to see those adjustments. I can promise you this. The rest of the Matt country are watching this score, and they're looking at it's going 14-7 to at halftime. That, that's a war down there. That's right. So Coldwater's going to kick off. New Bremen's got two deep on the 10-yard line. 28 seconds to go here. Let's see what New Bremen does. Hoping for a big-time return here. And, and almost a squibbler, and a flag comes out. I'm going to say there was an offsides against Coldwater, and that's going to back the ball up yeah. five yards. And so, you know, it's a heavy wind tonight. I think it's about 15-mile-an-hour wind. It is, you can right. see You can see the flags, you know, fans probably can't see it from their, their couches, but we can see it from here in the press box. This is the first kickoff we've actually seen into the wind tonight, and I think they were trying to squib kick it, and he almost like kind of shored up a little bit, you know, slowed up, and then, but but the the rest of the kickoff team kept going. Yeah, if that makes sense. Well, John, if if they push the ball back five yards, if New Bremen can get a nice return right. here, they've got 28 seconds to push that ball down and yep. get something on the scoreboard. So Coldwater will kick off from the 35 yard line. Let's see what they do here. They. Squick on the ground. It'll be fielded at the, well, to get through the line, fielded at about the 35, or excuse me, 25, go to the 30, and he'll be taken down about the 35-yard line. So better than expected field yeah. position. Yeah, really, really good field position for the Cardinals. And if you're cold water, that actually worked out well for you because there was probably two or three bounces that probably shouldn't have happened. I was going to say it should have been favor. picked up about yep. the 40-yard line on the first bounce. So 
New Bremen will bring the ball out to the 35 with 22 seconds to go. And John, do they take a knee here? Do they try something? I mean, there's no timeouts. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm conservative when it comes to coaching. So to me, take that's why the you're knee, up here with that's, me. That's exactly. That's, that's why I'm no longer <laughs> coaching. Uh, but you know, take the knee. For my opinion, go to halftime and feel good about what you do. But you know, Coach Schmidt's aggressive here. He's going to try to get points on the board. Teamans in the gun. He's got two receivers to his left. He's going to hand the ball to the first man up, and he gets through the hole to about the 41 yard line. And that was Kerry was by number, I believe, number 36, Trevor Schaefer. We've heard him quite a few times tonight. And that is going to do it. There's no timeouts, so New Bremen will let that one roll. So after one half a play on homecoming, New Bremen, Coldwater, 14-7. to We'll be back with second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to New Bremen High School, where we're just about ready to get started on the second half. Our presenting sponsor tonight is the People's Bank. We are invested in the communities you serve, your bank, your way. John Zerby, this has been kind of like uh, a title fight. You've got the challenger. <laughs> the challenger's throwing some haymakers, the champion yep. coming back, and it's it's been a really, really physical game. Now, look, we know the MAC is physical, but tonight it just seems like they're really getting after it. Yeah, there was that drive there at the end of the second quarter when uh, New Bremen had the ball, and quarterback Aaron Tiemann carried the ball on third down. It looked like he was going to get a first down in middle linebacker for Coldwater, Cody Depwick came up and hit him, and you could hear it from up here, and yeah. I thought, okay, now I mean, they've been hitting and getting after it the whole game, they really got but now they're getting after it. I mean, and that's what it's felt like. I mean, it has yeah. felt like there's been a right and a left and no jabs. I mean, no. just, just like you no. said, haymakers, and, and so I, I feel like this is going to be indicative of what we're going to see in the second half as well. Yeah. So we are just about getting ready to get started here. And the clock is at 12, but the New Bremen Cardinals still on the sidelines here. Maybe a little bit of gamesmanship here. I like this. And Coldwater will take the second half kickoff. Beautiful night for football. Boy, what a great facility down here at New Bremen, John. The field looks fantastic, and they've got the big Cardinal bird out there in the midfield. And the people down here have treated us so good. No, it's, it's, and you know, I've come to New Bremen for years for different things, and I've never really actually been to a football game in their stadium. Um, always seen it from afar and loved it, loved the, you know, how it looked. But, yeah. You know, they just take care of things and do sure things do. the right way. And you come in and they have food and <laughs> and just people willing to help you grabbing oh. rosters and doing everything for you. And it just makes it really, really uh, a cool place to visit. So New Bremen will kick off and we are underway the second half from New Bremen High School. Harlemet's going to keep it himself. They fake the little sweep there, and Harlemet's down the right side, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. And you saw that a little fake reverse. Yeah. Harlemet goes up the right side. Yeah, Coldwater likes to do that uh, on their on their special teams. You, you'll see that a lot, not only on kickoff returns but on punt returns. They like to do the fake reverses, and sometimes uh, go ahead and reverse it. But Harlemer, he just has a second like level and speed. I mean, when he gets that ball, you can see him just take off, and he's really, really effective in getting great special team yardage. So here comes Coldwater, the first drive of the second half, 11.53. They're up 14 to seven. Blockburger's in the gun. He's got a single receiver to his right. He'll hand off the pot cutter up the middle, and he has taken down a loss of one. And John, uh, I wanted to mention this before we started. The, the wind is really, really picked up. You see the, the, the flag poles over there, and it's a good 15, 20 mile. Is that going to affect the way this game happens out in the second half? It really will, and honestly, I think that it's going to affect um, it, it could, it's going to affect New Bremen because they have the ball here going with the wind in the third quarter. They're going to have to do something. That's a great point. Um, because special teams wise, it's going to be a nightmare to punt into the wind. Um, and even that kickoff, you've seen that they got pretty good field, you know, position with it. So and it's the temperatures dropped 20 degrees since yep. we've started this game, and it, it's chilly out there. Blockburger's going to throw up the right side. He's got a man out there. He's got Harlem, and he gets the catch. You're kidding me. Oh my goodness, number six for the Cavaliers. That is A.J. Harleman. Another great catch. Okay, so Danny, this play, I'm, I'm telling you, um, this is just athletic ability. Uh, uh, Balin Blockberger throws up a ball in the air. We're talking about wind. The wind gets a hold of it. I mean, yes, it's, it does. It, you, can it's see, you can see it flutter. Yeah. yeah. A.J. Harleman turns around. I don't think he's seen the ball. I don't think he's seen it because he kind of just stood, and then at the last minute you see his head go up and his hands go and up. And he goes up and catches it. Amazing. First and 10 from the 30, 10.52 to go. Here come the Cavaliers. This is Harleman. He carries off to the left side. 
And a nice tackle there by number eight, Brady Keller, the 5'8 junior linebacker, comes up and smacks him. That was Braylon Harleman on the carry. And it looks to me, John, like it's uh, starting to rain a little bit out there as we've got water coming on the windshield here. You know, you, you've been kind of looking at the weather and, and wondering if it's going to rain tonight. They're not really calling for heavy rain or anything, but it is, you know, it's cold. It hasn't been cold all year. It's windy. Hasn't We haven't really dealt with these conditions. Right, right. So I feel like the first night this happens, it's kind of a bigger deal than bigger what it really shot, is. Right. It's not that cold, but it is colder than what it's been. So here come the Cavaliers, second and eight from the 28. Blockburgers in the gun, and they'll stop the play there. A flag comes down. And they're going to say a false start by the Cavaliers. Pretty clean game tonight. Both dis both teams disciplined in their approach, and we haven't seen a lot of flags. No, and and the great thing is that we have seen a few penalties like false starts and things, but they're not they're not. I, I think it's more motion penalties, and it's been, you know, uh, a false starts. But you're right. Both these teams coach so well. You see a clean game, nothing dirty. When they make a big play, no flags on the field, and typically flags are coming because of aggressiveness. That's John, it. John Coldwater averages 337 yards a game. And when you think about that figure, New Bremen has done a fantastic job defensively. I, I think they've done as well as you could possibly defend them at this point. I don't think any team has defended them this effectively so far. And if you see Coach Chris Schmidt, he's calling the defensive plays there. I think one of the things he's doing is he's mixing up the coverages, he's mixing up the pressures, not giving them the same look uh, two times. They bring up second and 13 from the 32. Blockburger's in the gun. He looks across the field, steps up in the pocket, throws to the right side, yep. and it's picked off. Picked off at the 30 yard line, or excuse me, the 20 yard line. Number 83 for the Cardinals. Hayden Zeller, there's that man again, John. Okay, so Hayden Zeller, I talked about him being a great defensive end, but Danny, he was in the flat. Yes, he was. He was a defensive end. Yes, he was. He, Coach Chris Schmidt putting together a great schematic game plan because he dropped his defensive end into the flat. The quarterback couldn't account for him. When he threw it there, he had no idea he was standing right John, there. John, that's the third turnover New Bremen's got uh, uh, in this game. They've got to put a drive together here. That's right. So here comes Teeman and the Cardinals, 946 to go, trying to capitalize over this turnover. Teeman's going to go to the left. He's got some blockers out there, tries to go across the 20. He gets across the 25, goes out towards the 28-yard line, and a nice run by Aaron Teeman. And there you see the strength of that young oh, man. Oh, great play call. And Mason Welch came over and knocked him out of bounds, or he probably would have got another... Uh, five to six yards, but really a great first play call, seven-yard pickup. Now they're really in good position here on second down. And you're right. They are going with the wind, and there's a little bit of more powder from the student <laughs> section coming out there. We heard it got you're outlawed. Yeah, we heard it got outlawed it at could have been, It could have been outlawed. So here's Teeman in the gun. He throws off to the left, kind of floats it out there, and that ball got away from Aaron Teeman, and yet <laughs> – you see, uh, kind of threw off his back foot, but it, it went high. And that's just one of the things I was kind of thinking at halftime. You know, New, New Bremen's done a really good job of running the ball, but at some point they're going to have to throw the ball. I mean, Coldwater's got so many guys up at the line of scrimmage, so you've seen a really safe pass, and you've seen the wind kind of get a hold of it. And like you said, throw off his back foot a little bit, so that was well, tough. Well, and that is one of the problems they've had this year. They have six touchdowns through the air, jump, but they've also got eight interceptions, mm -hmm. so they like to keep it on the ground. Here's Teeman in the gun, third and three from the 28. A big third down here at the start of the second half as New Bremen trying to capitalize on that turnover. This is Teeman. He's going to keep it himself. He goes, he's going to pick up another Truex first down oh, as he goes across play. midfield. And a huge block at midfield. He got a blistering block from his lineman. Oh, Jack Saylor. What Teeman did was he, he did a great job of faking the pass and then calling a draw. But what he did was he cut across the field. He let Jack Saylor come across and literally have a great pancake in front of everybody. <laughs> Tonight's first down sponsor is Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. So here's Teeman and the Cardinals as they go across midfield. Hand it off to the first man up and he bounces off the pile. And he's going to get a two, three yards on just extra effort. A great run. And that is number 36 for New Bremen. Trevor Schaefer, we've called him quite a few times tonight. Yeah, and the, the one thing I liked about Schaefer there is that he got he got met initially in the backfield, but he, he broke that block and kept going, and it took both Miles Potcotter and Cody Deppwig to make that tackle, but great physicality there. So here the momentum switching over to the New Bremen Cardinals after they get the interception, the third turnover tonight forced by the New Bremen defense. And it'll be second and nine from the 47-yard line as they are in cold water territory. Teeman's in the gun. He's got a man in motion, two receivers off to the left. He's got one on his left side. They're going to do a little reverse handoff. They'll go across the 50 to the 45. He gets up to the 40, and he'll get another structure first down. That was a great play by Rogan Muther. 
to do the end around, and, and I like what they did there because Tiemann's really been carrying the ball a lot. And like we said earlier, they're going to have to do something. If you're not going to throw the ball, you're going to have to do something creative offensively, and there's that creativity right there. Bring up first and 10 from the 35, 8, 17 to go. Clock continues to run. Coldwater leads 14 to 7. Tiemann's going to keep it himself. He's going off the right side, and he'll go back to the middle, and he'll go to the – and then ball gets loose, and they're saying they're saying Aaron Tiemann was down. They're saying his, wow. his knee was down. I couldn't tell from up here, but I saw the ball get popped away. Yeah, and it's going to be a big break for New Bremen because immediately the Coldwater defenders there, when Cody Depweg made that tackle, the ball was on the ground, and yeah. they're immediately jumping and pointing in this direction, but the official says otherwise. So a huge break there for the Cardinals. Second and five from the 30. Clock continues to run. Danny Holbrook, John Zerby from New Bremen High School. And what we're watching is a classic match matchup, if you want to call it that. There goes team, and he's going to keep it himself. He goes across the middle, and he goes to about the 26-yard line. Pick up of maybe three. That'll bring up third and two. Yeah, and see, they're really putting themselves in good position there. Um, Troy Milligan was able to make the tackle there for the Cavaliers, but by running the ball effectively, getting two to three yards, I mean, it's let's let's put it this way, Danny. It looks like they're in the spread. They've got all these motions. They're in the shotgun. This is old school football. Absolutely. This is three yards in we're a we're, we're not going to be fancy, and you're going to have to stop us. Yep. And right now, New Bremen's dominating the line of scrimmage. So here comes Teeman from the gun. He's got a man off to his left. He's got one in motion, two receivers to the left, and he's got one in the right side. Teeman's going to keep it himself as he goes across the 25. Did he get the first down? He's awful close. The officials are coming in from the sideline. And they're going to say he is, I think he's short, John. Yeah, I think he's going to be just a little bit short there. Uh, yeah. Expect to see another uh, push from his yeah. uh, line or from his tailback because they're going to go for it here. Yeah, I think you have to, you know, being down seven with the win, like we said before, you're in, you're in territory here. I think with what Tiemann's done with his strength and his offensive line, this is like this is what you, you know in, in two days you talk about when we need a right, foot you need to get right. a foot they that, need a, a they need a foot point. right now yeah that's a great point so here's Teeman as he's in the gun I expect he's going to keep the ball himself on fourth and inches Teeman goes right up the middle and he a, a huge collision but I'm thinking he got it John yep the official comes in from sidelines and that is another structure first down yeah I love the play call and I'll tell you what I loved about that is Teeman put his head down and just put his and, and went straight ahead. And like I said, even in the shotgun, it was just enough to get that push there, to that one foot that they needed. Well, John, there's a couple thousand people here tonight, and everybody <laughs> here knew exactly what they were going to do, and still they pick up two exactly. yards. Exactly. Yeah. So here's team in the gun, first and 10 from the 24. He's going to look off to the left. He'll throw the ball oh. to the left. He's got his man out there in the flat, and he'll pick up a, maybe a yard or two. That was number 36 for the Cardinals, Trevor Schaefer, the 5'8 senior. And I like that because, you know, number one, we just said you have to establish that passing game at least a little bit. But Aaron Tiemann is going to need to break a little bit, too. I mean, you can't run him four downs every, you know, every possession, you know. I, I, Aaron so, Tiemann would do that. Well, <laughs> he would, he would. But as a coach, I'm thinking, you know, uh, right. at some point, we've got to give him a little yep. bit of a, a break here and, and get the ball into some other guys' hands and let them make plays. And at this point right now, you're in four down territory. you got four downs to get a first down. So here's Tiemann in the gun. He's got a back off to his right. He's got a man in the slot, one on the left, and a receiver clear out to the right side. He'll take the ball himself, hand the ball off to the man through the middle. As he tries to cut up the right side, he gets across the 20 to the 15. He's going to go to the maybe the 10-yard line in a fantastic run there by, let's see who that was, number 15, Rogan Muther who's been really a utility man tonight for the Cardinals. Oh, he really has. And again, that creativity there, um, you know, with with the with the scheme has really got cold. I mean, Coldwater's really, they're, they're kind they're of like. They're on their heels. They, on their they heels, really yeah. are, and, and they're confused. Look at what Coldwater's doing defensively, Danny. Look at how uh, close. There's no, there's, they're five yards from the line of scrimmage right now. Here's Teeman in the gun, first and 10 from the 11. Teeman's going to keep it himself. Goes off the left side, gets a seam there, and picks up maybe about three yards. And there you saw him just contortion oh, his yeah. body a little bit to pick up three yards. He made a great cut. Um, you know, I see what, you know, Coldwater wants to do defensively. And once again, you know, Cody Depwig making tackles for the Coldwater defense. But the problem is, is that you got so many guys up at the line of scrimmage that if Aaron Teeman just breaks one level, there's a good uh, chance that he's going to break into the end zone here. Second and five from the six-yard line. So keep in mind, New Bremen can still pick up a first down at the one-yard line. 
Tiemann's going to go into the shotgun formation. He's got one receiver to the left. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to follow that tailback around the right side. He gets a block. He turns the corner, and he takes it into the end zone. Aaron Tiemann, are you kidding me? Touchdown, New Bremen. New Bremen could not have scripted this any better, Danny. Uh, the, the reality is, is that they come out in the second half. They have the win. They kick off. They get a turnover, and now they drive the field, keeping the ball away from the cold water offense and get the score. <laughs> And Danny, <laughs> see it. we got false information at halftime because baby I, powder is back. I thought they outlawed the baby powder. <laughs> these, look, these New Bremen kids are having the time of their life. <laughs> New Bremen, here's the point after attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. With 3.50 to go, John, we have got a fabulous game here. 14 all. We'll be back right after these messages. <laughs> Welcome back to New Bremen High School. With 3.50 to go, we are knotted at 14. And John, who would have thought it? Coldwater comes in 7-0, New Bremen at 3-4. We knew New Bremen was capable of, of playing good football. John, they have played fantastic. They've done everything they've needed to yeah, do. Yeah, I think they've taken their, their progression to another level tonight. And they, you know, this, this is a great kickoff. They're going to have great field position. The new Bremen fans, the new Bremen team, they're feeling that energy right and now. And I'm taking nothing away from Coldwater because they have played really good ball tonight. John, tonight's homecoming, and we'd like to congratulate the homecoming king and queen. Brett Schaefer is our king, and Mara Lozier is the queen for homecoming 2023 here at New Bremen High School. Oh, what an exciting night. You know, uh, fans come back, uh, you know, alumni come back, and... Uh, kids are in the, the homecoming court, and I'm sure there's a big homecoming dance tomorrow night. So, fun time for the absolutely, community. Absolutely, absolutely. So, here come the Coldwater Cavaliers. First and 10 from the 20. 350 to go. Knotted at 14. Lockberg is in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's going to throw off. No, he's going to keep it. You know, he's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there. And boy, he faked the pass, mm -hmm. kept it, then he threw it again. So, a nice pitch and catch there out front. And you see that man, A.J. Harlem. Yeah, you know, and I think if you're Coach Chip Otten, one of the things you got to do here is just you got to settle your team. You can't put any doubt in their minds. And to me, the guy you got to look for right now is A.J. Harlemert. No matter where he's at, getting the ball, because he's going to be the difference maker in this second half. Oh, he's got Harlemert clear out to the right side in single coverage. They're going to hand the ball off the pot cutter up the middle, and he's going to pick up about two yards. And I love the way that Coldwater doesn't go away from the game plan. Yeah, we're in a we're in a dog fight, 14 all, but we're going to continue running the ball. We're going to continue doing what we do best. Yeah, I mean, because they've been here a million times. You know, they they they've done this. They they don't panic. They don't change what they've done. They don't, you know, throw out the script. They stay right to it. And that really allows their kids to continue to play at a high level because they're not doing anything off script. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Here's Harl or excuse me, here's Blockberger in the gun. He's scrambling. He throws off to the left side. He's got a man out there and a nice try there. You saw number four. That is Braylon Harlemet. And he just overshoots the outstretched arms of Harlemet. Yeah, I think the big thing here, once again, is pressure. Uh, Blockberger did a nice job of, uh, of getting away from, from that pressure, but, uh, you know, he was out on the run and tried to make a really great throw. Nice try by Harlem, but give the New Bremen defense credit for not only getting the pressure, but having good coverage, And, John, too. you look at the flagpoles. That wind has really yeah. picked up, and it's really affecting right now the throwing of each of these teams' right, offense. Right. Here we have huge third down, third and seven from the 37. Blockberger's in the gun. He takes the snap, and we got a another flag, and that's a false start. That's going to bring up third and 12, John. Yeah, these are just mental mistakes that, you know, Coach Otten will not be happy about. I'm telling you right now, these are things that you cannot have are these mental penalties. And now you're giving yourself, like you said, throwing into the win an additional five yards. It's tough. And I can promise you this, there are some folks down at, uh, at uh, Marion Local who are playing, play, paying close attention to this game, John. As Coldwater and Marion Local sit atop the MAC, both undefeated. Here's Blockberger in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man out there. He's got Harleman. Goes across the midfield. He's off to the races, John. He's at the 25, to the 20, to 15, and he's going to score a cold water touchdown. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you what, Danny. There's there's a second gear there that, that is just you can't you can't do anything about it. 
and you've seen it. AJ Harlemer got a little bit of space, a little bit of space, and we had that space. He was untouchable. And that is the mark of a champion, John. They did not blink. They just continued, and they ran that same play across the middle about <laughs> four times tonight, and yep. each time big gains. Yeah, big gains. And the reality is, is that. Uh, they're not afraid to throw it to him. They're not afraid of, to, to make, you know, they've had three picks tonight. So you might say, we, we don't want to throw the ball. <laughs> no, no, they're not going to do right that. Back at it. <laughs> Blaylen Blockberger is doing a fantastic job of leading his troops. So here is the point after try with 2.32 to go. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. With 2.32 to go, the Coldwater Cavaliers show the heart of a champion as they take a 21-14 lead. We'll be back right after these messages. Tonight's instant replay is Holman's Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, members of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. John, what we saw there, they scored the touchdown, but the, the most interesting thing about that, it was third and 12. They had them yep. backed up exactly where they wanted. They get a good pitch and catch across the middle, and Harlem, it does the rest. Well, and here's the thing. This is the cruel thing about sports. They had everything right. They, <laughs> right. they, they had the momentum. <laughs> they had the defense. They had right. the, you know everything going in, in one play a great throw and an amazing catch and run. Now Coldwater is in the driver's seat. You can feel, I mean, it, oh, you it, know. It took the life right out of the stadium. You're right, yeah. right. So 2.32 to go. Coldwater takes a 21-14 lead. Danny Holbrook, John Zerby from New Bremen High School and a high kick to the 20. New Bremen will take it across the 30, get looking for some blockers and a yep. really nice job of getting to about the 34-yard line. So New Bremen right back in business. Yeah, and I like the idea of going ahead and, and kicking it high in the air, especially with the wind. That ball's going to be moving a lot. You know, sometimes you think squib kick, but that was a good idea to do that. But great job of New Bremen uh, of doing an awesome job there. Jordan, Jonathan Heitkamp of getting the ball and just trying to keep it in the middle of the field and getting yardage. And not only has the wind picked up, now we're seeing the rain uh, pebbles come down, picked up quite a bit here. So we'll see what New Bremen does with 2.27 to go, down 21-14. Aaron Tiemann's in the gun. He's got a single setback off to his left. Now they spread out number 83 for the Cardinals. We've heard him all night. That is Hayden Zeller. Tiemann's going to keep it himself. He gets a block off the right side, and there's a penalty flag comes down, and that's in the area of holding. That'll push it back 10 yards. Yeah, and, and even if there wasn't holding, Will Berry's going to make an amazing play defensively. He was all over uh, making a phenomenal job on the defensive line, making a great move and getting off his blocker and, and really setting Tiemann back for a big loss. So that is exactly what New Bremen did not want to do. Coach Schmidt down there, he's really giving those officials his piece of mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fire in that guy. He does a great job over here. Well, what he's done is just amazing. I mean, when he took over, they were considering not having football. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there was yeah. a board meeting and whether, you know, whether they're going to continue football or not, and he took over, and look where they are now. Look what they would have lost. That's, That's amazing, just, he's, amazing. He's done an incredible job. I know we hear about, uh, you know, Tim Goodwin a lot. We hear about Chip Otten a lot, but Chris This Schmidt, guy doesn't take a backseat to anybody. No, absolutely no. not. That'll bring up first and 20 from the 23. Tiemann's going to go in the gun. He's going to look across the field. He's going to take it himself. He comes across the middle. He gets a block, rolls out to about the 21-yard line. So not much of a gain there, if any. Miles Potcotter doing a nice job of not being fooled, spying the quarterback. They got a lot of nice plays. It looks like it's going to be a pass play. Then all of a sudden, boom, team takes off and run. But Coldwater was not fooled and was able to get a good and stop. And John, does in your in your opinion, does Teeman have the decision to make? Do I do I look for my progressions or do I take it himself? Is that a set play? I don't think I I, I, don't, I don't think there's any read to it. I think they know it's going to be a he's going to okay. run yeah, okay. from the beginning. Yeah. I do. Here's Teeman in the gun. He looks across the field. He's going to throw it across the middle, deep down the middle, and he's got a guy down there. Oh, my goodness. An intended target wow. for number 14, Mason Welsh. And he is defended by the Coldwater secondary. And nice throw. He put it right where he had to. You know, that was a great throw, a great route. I know people are pretty upset because uh, Welsh did, did, a, did a great job of going up and uh, stopping Grant Dickey from catching that football. I know the fans wanted a, a pass interference penalty, but 
you know, like we said earlier, it, unless it's obvious, you know, you've got to let, you got to let kids play and let them go ahead and, and try to sort that out on the field. And now the bad part about that, John, with the incomplete pass, we're at third and 18 from the 25 yard line, and you just wonder how conservative or how loose New Bremen plays this possession here. Well, I think he, I think you got to get the first down. You got to go for it here. Here's Team, and he looks across the middle. He goes back in the pocket. He's rolling around. He's under heavy pressure, and he throws it down the sideline. He's got a completion to about the 30-yard line, but that'll be well short of the first down. That'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, and they've got a flag all the way back at the 24-yard uh, line. Grant Dickey was never set. He was going out there. He was uh, getting ready to line up, and he was never set when the ball was snapped. So uh, the far official there threw a flag, and uh, it's just going to depend on whether Coldwater wants to take this penalty or decline it and go ahead and let uh, New Bremen punt. And they ran off. The clock continued to run, John. Well, it, it, it took off about 12 seconds, and I'm not real sure why they allowed that to happen. The clock went down to 50 seconds, and that'll bring up a big fourth down. So I don't know if... So, oh, well. That'll bring up fourth and 13 from the 30. Coldwater leads 21-14, so... There's a nice punt taken back to the 35. He goes across the 40, gets up to about the 42, and he'll go out of bounds. So that's where Coldwater takes over. Yeah, and that's that's really a great special teams play by just fielding the punt and maintaining that uh, field position. Now, John, I dare to say this, but this might be the biggest possession of the game because if New Bremen can flip the field here, hold, serve, keep cold water on that side of the field, they may have a chance here. Yeah, and I think, you know, we've seen some critical moments in this game already. You feel like there's been times where cold water may be able to create that separation on the scoreboard, and New Bremen's just held. And, and this is one of those moments right here where, you know, being up seven, is this going to be the moment where Coldwater is going to extend that lead, or does New Bremen have enough in them to continue to, to fight? 41 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Coldwater first and 10 from the 44. Blockberger in the gun. He's got trips to the right. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there. This is Harleman. He goes across midfield to the 40, and he is going to outrun them all. He gets tripped up at the 35 or the 25-yard line. Excuse me, but a tackle, a saving tackle by number 83, Hayden Zeller. Yeah, if they don't, if he doesn't make that tackle, it's a touchdown. And that's Braylon Harlemer. Boy, these Harlemer boys can run. <laughs> yeah. and, and these are simple passes. Yeah, these are, are not like, you know, routes that you draw up, you know, uh, on, a, on a scientist board or, you know, anything like that. They're just simple routes, but they're making great plays. So that'll bring up first and 10 from the 22. Play clock's at 11. Time clock is at 15. See if they can get this one off here. Lockberger, I don't know if he knows the play clock's down to three. Yep, he gets the snap. They'll hand the ball off to Pot Cutter. He goes up the middle, and he's fighting for yards. And he is thrown down at about the 16-yard line, and that will end the third quarter. So after three quarters of play from New Bremen High School, the Coldwater Cavaliers have taken a 21-14 lead. We'll have fourth quarter action right after these messages. Twenty-one fourteen, second and five from the seventeen yard line. Coldwater with the ball. They'll start at the seventeen yard line. Lockberger's in the gun. He's got one to the left, one to the right. He's got one to the far left. They're going to hand a pot cutter off the left side, and pot cutter continues to churn those yards, and he goes to about the seven yard line. And my goodness, Miles pot cutter, he just kept those legs churning. Well, he's tough. I mean, you can see him defensively doing just an awesome job tonight, but offensively finally getting that rhythm. And you're going to see something out of cold water here. Will they want to take some time off the clock? Will they want to run the clock? Will they want to pound the ball here? so that they can get this lead if they can score and then move that clock into the fourth quarter. Well, and the other thing, too, is if they score here, John, they really force New Bremen into doing something they're not accustomed to doing, and that is putting the ball in the air. Absolutely, and, that, and that's something they don't want to do at this point. One thing I'm noticing, Danny, now I'm looking at the lights, you can start to see this rain really coming. Absolutely. Here's Pot Cutter off the left side. He gets a block, and he's going to be thrown down right about the goal line to about maybe the two-yard line. Miles Potcutter keeps on churning the yards tonight. And that'll bring up, they're saying the three-yard line, second and goal. Clock continues to run. Danny Hobart, John Zerby from New Bremen High School. What started out to be a beautiful night has turned into a windy, dark, rainy 
night and uh, well, not affecting the game much, but yeah. still. Well, when they did homecoming before, it was sunny, beautiful. 70. It looked yeah. beautiful. <laughs> now we've got rain and wind yeah. and cold, and it's football. Here's Block, or Block where he keeps it himself as he goes up the middle, and he is going to be short. He'll go to maybe about the one-yard line as he tries to push it across. I love the fight of the New Bremen defense. I mean, uh, Benjamin ran the bottom there. 5'11", 243 pounder, still playing hard. And, you know, I just love this fight in this Cardinal defense. I mean, Coldwater, you know they're going to come and they're going to bring their best. But this New Bremen effort tonight is something that you don't like, you know, moral victories, but sure. you, they have nothing to be ashamed Absolutely of so far. Going to bring up third and two from the two. Blockberger's in the gun. He's got pot cutter off to his right. He'll take the snap. He'll follow his lead blocker up the left side, and pot cutter gets in. A cold water touchdown. No, sorry, that was Cody Depwig, number 25, and he ups the lead to 27-14. Well, and that's kind of the, you know, the, the thing about cold water is they just keep coming at you. Just when you think that maybe you have this opportunity to get back in the game, they just keep coming. What a great uh, series of play calling by Coach Ott. Yeah, just a fantastic job as they'll go for the point after try here to make it 28 with 10.04 to go. Homecoming 2023 from New Bremen High School. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. So with 10.04 to go in the fourth quarter, the Coldwater Cavaliers lead 28-14. We'll be back right after these messages. Cavaliers have taken, I don't want to say a commanding lead, John. It's two touchdowns, but, uh, you know, we've seen sicker dogs than this get well. But what we know about the new Bremen offense, it's an uphill climb. It's an uphill climb, especially against the team you're playing. I mean, I think if you were, you know, playing. Sure. I, I, anybody, but cold water, <laughs> you know, when you're playing cold water, two touchdowns is a lot to overcome. Yeah. That ball is going to roll into the end zone, so New Bremen will start at the 20-yard line. Well, and this is really going to put New Bremen in a difficult position for a lot of reasons. Number one, they're going against the wind. Um, and, you know, right now, uh, you know, it, it, the wind is kicking. I mean, we're talking 16, 17, 18 mile an hour wind, so it's, it's really kicking. Um, but the other thing is that you're forced to throw the ball, and that's something that New Bremen does not want to do. Fall in Ohio, John. Had the air conditioner on yesterday. Probably have to turn the heat on tonight. Yeah, so. absolutely. <laughs> Here come the Cardinals. This is Teeman in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He goes off to his right side. Teeman's going to throw the ball to the right. And a big-time collision. My goodness, you saw number 15, Rogan Muther, just got lit up by Braylon Harleman. Yeah, and, and now you can kind of tee off on that. I mean, I yeah. feel like Coldwater knows this is coming. You know, there's probably a small set of plays that they've scouted. Uh, pass plays that they've scouted, and so he just pin your ears back. They, and go get they're going to yeah. go get them. Yeah. Ten oh one to go. Second and ten for the Cardinals. Crowd has stayed around tonight for this one, even in the bad weather. Student sections right down they're there. They're going strong. They're having they're fun not down leaving. there. Yeah, plenty of baby powder to throw around. <laughs> Here's Steeman in the gun. He's going to roll off to the left side. He's got plenty of blockers out there. He goes across the 25, tries to get around the edge, and he'll be thrown out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. And, you know, I, this is a difficult thing to say. It's going to sound stupid, which I sound that way a lot. Oh, but, no, no, no. but But I, I don't think you, you try to be somebody that you're not right now if you're New Bremen. I mean, you're not, you're not going to throw the ball. Uh, you know, and to me, you've played so well. Just continue to do what you've done. Maybe Absolutely. maybe that doesn't mean that you get out of here with a win, but you're continuing to improve. You've shown tonight you can play oh, with you some play of the with best the big teams. Boys. That's yep. right. Tonight's first down sponsor is Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out, and that is another Structure first down. So here comes Teeman and the Birds, first and 10 from the 30. He's got a man in motion. He's got a single receiver to the right. Teeman's going to hand the ball off to the first man up, and he gets swarmed behind that line and tried to cut back to the middle. It just didn't work out. And I don't think the rain's become super effective, but I, I start to see some guys slip and slide a little bit. Um, you know, Jack Edmonds still making great plays down there defensively, um, but that's the first time I've really seen the field. And, and with the wind, I mean, it's these these conditions, like we've said, they've been great all year. So this is really the first time with rain, with wind, with cold, it's been challenging. So John, if this stays status quo, that is going to continue that. Uh, and there's a throw down the field, and it is picked off, picked off at the 50-yard line by Coldwater. 
And what I was saying was if this continues status quo, it, it sets up that Week 10 matchup that all of Northwest Ohio will be watching, Coldwater, yeah. Marine, local. And, you know, I, I, it, it's easy to root for all these teams. You want to see the, them play well. But there's something about seeing two teams 7-0, 8-0, 9-0, and yeah. knowing that they're going to meet in week 10. The collision so, course. Yeah, you just know it's going to happen. And um, that game's special for a lot of reasons. Number one, because it's a 10 and 0 or a 9 and 0 versus 9 and 0. But number two, it's it's really the, a MAC championship. Absolutely. And that is, you know, bragging rights in all of Ohio, you know, not just in the MAC itself. Because if, you, if you're a MAC champion, you're probably going to be a state champion. Oh, yeah. And it's a huge 50 50 draw. <laughs> <laughs> so here come the Cavaliers, first and 10 from the 48. They got a 28 14 lead. And you want to talk about about coming out of the pack. Number 83, Hayden Zeller, shot out of a cannon, makes a huge pickup and takes him down. I watched a lot of New Bremen games last year. It felt like I was on their playoff run there for a while, and Hayden Zeller was just an impact player. I mean, he's athletic enough to be that defensive end spot, defensive end slash outside linebacker. We've seen him make all kinds of plays in the backfield. We've seen him pick off the ball tonight, so he's showing his range of versatility out there. And he's 6'5", 210. Plenty of room to put more muscle on that frame. Well, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I'm not sure what his, his plans are, but if he wants to play, he, like you said, he's got, he's still got a lot of growing to do. Second 11 from the 47. Lockburger's going to hand off the pot cutter off the left side as he goes across midfield, and he gets another structure first down. Miles pot cutter. I thought he was caught in the backfield. Yeah. It just just great balance by pot cutter. He just kept going, and uh, the reality is is that about three or four or five times you thought he was going down, but he just kept that perseverance and, and grinding out that first down and, and maybe a little bit of that fatigue of that New Bremen defense that you spoke of earlier, uh, uh, Danny, starting to show up. So that'll bring up first and 10 from the 40. 7.55 to go. Blockberg is in the gun. He's got two receivers to his left, a single receiver far out wide. There goes Harleman in motion. They'll hand the ball. No, Blockberger will keep it himself. Or no, Harleman. Oh my, he had me fooled, John. I thought Har I thought Blockberger kept it himself. You have to keep a, a, a cold water roster in front of you, and oh then beside you, you have to keep a separate, just offensive guys that are going to touch the ball roster right. for cold water. It's amazing how they spread the ball around. And they keep those guys fresh and keep them coming in and out and. And look, we can talk about a lot of quarterbacks in the area, but uh, Blockberger is a is a field general. This kid is tough. He he's led this team all night, and I really like his athleticism. He's kind of outshadowed because you have some older guys that, at the receiver and running sure. back positions. But I'm telling you, you're going to hear his name this off season in the premier quarterback in this area. Depwig takes it up the middle for about a gain of maybe a yard or two, but it keeps the clock churning as it continues at 6.55, and I'm looking up at the lights, and that rain is really coming down now. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody really prepared for this. I mean, you know, you kind of look at the weather and think it might be chilly, it might be a little cold, it might be fun, but, the, you know, yeah. the rain is something that maybe you didn't plan for. You know, John, if if, if Coldwater scores here to, to take a 34-35-14 lead, you know, you, people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and look at that score and think, wow, that was – it's farthest from the truth. This has been a just a back-and-forth battle. And this is the kind of game that, like I said earlier, you walk away from it. And I think if you're New Bremen, you're you're proud of your performance. You know, you don't like the outcome, right? But you're really proud of your performance. You know, you just took a step forward. Absolutely, that'll be a false step or a false start, excuse me, for the Cavaliers. John, you saw a lot of football this year. Uh, would you say is Marion local your top team in the area of all teams? I mean, I hate to always say that because I feel like I'm, I say it all the time. <laughs> like, you know? like, like um, Dick Vitale used to do Duke, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll say this, Danny. You know, and you can, you and I have seen Walpock together oh, as well. John <laughs> and Walpock had Marion local, so really, I mean, those two teams are the top two. I, you know, I, I mean, they and I really am impressed by Walpock. Yeah, people ask me that question all the time, and I tell them unequivocally. I think Marion local is one A, and Walpock is 1B, and there's a nice pitch and catch to Depwig, and he is going to take it into the end zone. Cody Depwig with a nice reception and a run of about 35 yards. I like the play action call. They finally get Blockburger on the edge. They really haven't had a lot of play action passes, but they get the ball out to Cody Depwig out in the flat, and he showed his um, uh, great athletic ability of getting out there making a play. He carried three people into the end zone. He, he's a beast. <laughs> That'll make it 34-14 with 5.52 to go. 
I remember after um, the Versailles game last year, I did this game, and Coach Otten was talking about Cody Depwig after the game, and he said he's a, he's a little guy, um, you know, but he just gives us everything. He's 6'2", 220. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, this kid has grown so much in one year. It's that's amazing. That's the definition of a little guy. Yeah. Show, there's the, the kick is up, and it is good. With 5.52 to go, the Coldwater Cavaliers have stretched this one out. They lead 35-14. We come back, we'll have the conclusion right here at WSA. Welcome back to New Raymond High School. Dan here with John Zerbe, where the Coldwater Cavaliers have taken a 35 14 lead here on Homecoming 2023. Kick off to the Cardinals. The Cardinals hoping to get back into this one with just over five minutes to go. They'll take it at the five. They'll run it up the middle, go to about the 26-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Yeah, Grant Dickey gets a nice return there. And, you know, the game is probably out of reach right now. I mean, I, I hate to say it. it's not over by sure. any means, but it's kind of out of reach. And, and if you're New Bremen, I think you still, you still are – sticking your game plan but I also think it's an opportunity to maybe look at some other guys you know maybe not sure. bring everybody in but you're looking at some other people who can help you because I think there's going to be a long playoff run by the Cardinals I think they're in position to do that so you're going to have that long haul here where you're trying to prepare guys for the postseason so here's Aaron Teeman in the gun he's going to keep it himself uh, he goes off the left side he gains about three or four yards the clock continues to run we're at 535 and counting Aaron Tiemann is going to be a very sore young man tonight and tomorrow morning. He has taken some brutal shots, and that young man just gets up and keeps coming at you. Yeah, he does remind me a lot of David Holman. I mean, Holman, yeah. like we've said, was just the centerpiece of this offense, and he, he is a tough kid. Um, it, 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 my gut tells me that he's the kind of kid that would probably be up tomorrow morning working out. He throws it off to the left side, caught out there by number 22 for the Cardinals. That is Brett Schaefer, the 5'8 senior. Nice tackle there by Austin Hamilton. And Coldwater's finally subbing in some guys, too, to try to get them an opportunity. And, you know, same thing. They've got some guys that starters still out there and are also trying to get some new faces. Some yeah, you look time. across the field, and both these squads have 45, 50 kids, big rosters, and uh, a lot of underclassmen that want to get their time in. And, uh, Absolutely. And it's, and it's crazy because when you start a season, you know, a sophomore is a sophomore. But by the time it's playoff season, really a sophomore is like a junior. Right, right. So you got to get them that opportunity to grow throughout the season. Here's Teeman in the gun. He's going to follow his blockers on the left side. He'll go back to the middle and under a lot of pressure, and he will be taken down at about the 34-yard line, 35-yard line, maybe half a yard gain. It'll bring up a third and, or excuse me, fourth and one maybe. Teeman just was shifty the whole time there. I mean, it was, wasn't like he really ran straight ahead. He was just shifty, almost to the point where he had juked three or four guys, and it took Mason Welch finally from his safety spot to bring him down. You know, we've talked a lot about the new Bremen defense tonight, how well they played with their three turnovers, but uh, Coldwater, <laughs> pretty good defensive effort their own self. Yeah, they, they have, and, they've, and they've, they've stopped those momentum shifts. They're aggressive. You know, they're, they're, they've committed to stopping the run. A really great defensive effort. Here's Teeman, keeps it again as he's going to pick up a structure first down. And he is still going, and he's going to take it down the sideline. Are you kidding me? Aaron Teeman comes out of that pack, and he is going to score a touchdown, just what the Cardinals needed. And just what they needed, a shot in the arm. Uh, does it does it change maybe the outcome of the game? I don't know, but it really gives them some energy here, maybe an opportunity here on special teams. I was going to say, go for an onside kick. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, the game is still in reach, Danny. At, uh, I thought it looked like Aaron Tiemann was bottled up, and he just came out of the middle, and that's going to be a great shot on our instant replay. Our instant replay is sponsored tonight by Homans Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group, with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. Why I like Aaron Tiemann is he is power. Don't get me wrong, but he's shifty. He goes, he goes <laughs> he sideways. He turns his body yes, and he really does. gets through the small cracks. Absolutely. Here's the point after attempt, and it is up, and it is good. Zeller kicking the extra. He does a little bit of everything. He does that. it all. <laughs> With 4.05 to go, 35-21. We'll be back right after these messages. 
just when you thought they were out of it, the New Bremen Cardinals come up with a huge play, courtesy of, you guessed it, Aaron Tiemann, as he scampers down the sidelines, and he makes it 35-21. We're going to get to see an onside kick here, John. Yeah, I think this is a smart idea. I mean, I think this is the way you stay in the game. I think anything can happen. You'd have nothing to lose, so go for it. Absolutely. So number 48 for the Cardinals. That is Aiden Easton as he tries to get this onside kick here. See what happens. No, go to the right side, and it is picked up right at midfield. And you got to believe that uh, Coldwater is going to keep it on the ground and try to run that <laughs> clock out. Absolutely. You know what's what's great, though, about that onside kick was Kale Winning. The lineman <laughs> getting that onside kick, I'm sure he'd love that. Kale Winning gets his five minutes of fame. Good job, young man. Good job. Typically, you have a hands team out there, but I love when you have offensive linemen out there, the big guys getting their chance to touch the football. Yeah. John, it's a good thing I don't have to draw uh, art on the field because that Cardinal's <laughs> beautiful. And I don't know who does that, but the, the, it would look like a stick figure if I was doing it. Great field management. That's Even right. Their grass, the, everything looks perfect tonight. Pot cutter goes through the left side for a gain of about two yards. Keep that clock running at 356. I got to believe that uh, New Bremen has three timeouts left, but I got to believe they're going to see if they can hold them a three and out here before they start using those timeouts. Yeah, you're going to have to use those those timeouts offensively. I mean, you, you just are, so you're going to try to, you know, keep them as long as you possibly can, hopefully stop them and so that they you're forcing them to punt. Um, if they happen to get a first down, then you're, you're, you have no choice but to, to burn the timeouts. Play outs. clock is down to six already. At Time clock is at 3.22. Blockberger snaps the ball with one second to go. And he is taken down. Blockberger is taken down way behind the line of scrimmage. A great job. That is Hayden Zeller once again. I mean, Hayden Zeller. <laughs> I mean, we've had, we've had some guys out here, you know, some some guys that you're going to hear when the, the all-MAC team comes out. Oh, we're going to see a bunch of them tonight. We're going to see yeah. a bunch of these guys tonight. I yeah, mean, they, they're just some really great athletes. And now... This is exactly what New Bremen wanted to do. They put Coldwater in a really tough position. If they don't get the first down and, and the clock is not stopped, look for Coach Schmidt to burn a timeout before the punt. Third and 13 from the 47. Dare I say the biggest third down of the game. Yeah. And here come the Cavaliers trying to ice this one. Blockberger's in the gun. There goes Harleman. They're going to hand the ball off to Harleman. He goes around the left side. He gets a block. And he is going, going to be pushed out of bounds. I don't know that he got the first down. But he did go out of bounds, and it stops the clock at yeah. 2.28 to go. Now, John, what do you do here? You're across midfield, fourth and four. This is a big-time call here by Coach Chip Otten. Well, he, he's going to go for it. I mean, that's the reality, and, and that's a kind of a, a mental blunder not to stay inbounds. They wanted to keep that clock moving, so you gave New Bremen a break here. They're going to go for it. I mean, you know, I, I think that they just keep that aggressive mindset, you know, that they're going to they're gonna continue to try to score no matter what. Here's Blockberger in the gun. He's got trips to the right. They're trying to hard count there to draw him off sides. And there's going to be a timeout. They'll take a timeout on the field with 2.28 to go. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Sports on WOSC. Welcome back to New Bremen High School with 2.28 to go. A huge fourth and three for the Coldwater Cavaliers as New Bremen. Now New Bremen takes a timeout. And, John, they've only got two left. you you got to wonder what the coaching staff at New Bremen saw Ooh. there. Yeah, that's a tough one. And that's one Coach Schmidt did not want to use. You could even see it on his uh, – I guess not on his face, on his back, that he didn't want to use that timeout because he's seen something uh, defensively that he did not like. And so he had to you know, call a timeout and maybe change the, the defense here. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supplies, our scoreboard sponsor. 2.28 to go. Danny Holbrook, John Zerby. Homecoming 2023 from New Bremen High School, a dandy we've had tonight. And we thought it was going to be a blowout here about five minutes ago, but uh, New Bremen gets a big-time touchdown, and now they've got a chance to, to pull this one out. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know how many MAC games I've been a part of the last five, six, seven years just watching these games, and you just feel like it's over, it's done. <laughs> and then these teams just fight back, claw back into right. a game. And, and, like, even this situation, there's a two, it's a two-score game, but it's far from being over. Yeah, they've got first down on the board, but it's a fourth down here, fourth and about three from the 43. So here come the Cavaliers. Blockburger's in the gun. 
He's going to throw the ball, and it's knocked down. It is knocked down. And that will be a turnover on downs, John. That is huge. That's a huge play and a great play by Owen Rindler, a 6'2", 185-pound junior there making a big stop. And now that gives New Bremen another opportunity using having two timeouts now. Uh, do you have to throw the ball? Yes. Do you have to try to get a score quick and maybe an onside kick? Yes. So it's going to get interesting here. <laughs> the, the, there was not a lot of reaction from the no. crowd on the play, and I was like, you're getting the ball back. Right. But I don't think they understood what happened because he jumped up, knocked the ball down, and nobody really saw it. Well, they might have been thinking it's first down <laughs> right. because, because of the scoreboard, the scoreboard said, yeah. yeah. And that's a big fourth down play. So here comes team, and he's in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's going to look across the field. He's going to go back up through the middle. Here he goes across midfield, and he gets to about the 47 yard line. Aaron Tiemann continues to churn up those yards. Clock continues to run at 214. New Bremen's in the hustle up offense. Yeah, and this is this is where when you're not throwing the ball, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're limited on what you can do. Here's Tiemann in the gun. He looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to step up and he is going to be taken down in a huge loss and not what Tiemann wanted right there. But he got kind of got tripped up by his own lineman. Right, and it was kind of an odd play there because he, you know, he came, he got kind of tripped up and he almost kind of stopped. Yeah. And he was kind of like, you know, there and then, you know, Coldwater cleaned up that play, but that really puts New Bremen in a, in a, in a tough spot here on third down. Clock continues to run, 133, third and 13 from the 40. Teeman's in the gun, play clock's down to 10. He gets the snap, looks across the field. He's going to throw deep down the middle, and he's got a man out there, and it's almost picked off. He had number 14, Grant Dickey, all alone, but a great job by number two, Gavin Zabrita. Comes out of the left side and almost picks it off, John. Yeah, he did, and, and the thing is is that right now there's, there's I would say, triple coverage back there. I mean, Coldor's not bringing a lot of heat, and he's going to have to throw in a triple coverage, but that ball was almost completed and almost picked off in the same play. So that'll bring up fourth and 13 from the 40. The last chance here for the Cardinals. They've only got two timeouts left here. So it's going to take a little bit of a miracle here for the Cardinals. Here's Teeman in the gun. He looks across the field. He steps up. He's going to be taken down, and he is going to be sacked at about the 28-yard line. Aaron Teeman, who has given everything tonight, takes the sack there, and Coldwater takes over with 110, and all but uh, all but winning this one. Yeah, Will Berry, he's, he's been this guy tonight that he's just Mr. Dependable on that defensive line, and he finally cleans things up and, you know, really puts the nail in the coffin for the uh, the Cardinals. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, Aaron Teeman, he's been nothing but a spectacle tonight, nothing but – uh, a great effort by him, nothing to hang his head low for. And a good move here by the new Bremen coaching staff, as you just saw a lot of clean white pants go into that game. So uh, some kids getting some time here with 110 to go. And you know, you, you may think it's just it's just mop up time. It's really not. It's an it's a great opportunity. You for saw them run out there. They, yeah. they were excited. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for young guys to to get out on a field under lights in these game type situ situations. First and ten from the 34. Coldwater leads 35-21. Lockberger is going to go into the gun, and he'll just wait a second and take a knee. And I don't believe New Bremen is going to take a timeout here. They'll let this one go. Should be about two more snaps, John, with a 35-second play clock here. And I know you and I are, you know, we're on our Mac kick because, you know, we just love it. Absolutely. But, but it's not this, the love. This is, this is the uh, – there's another part of this, okay? You could be cold water, and you could be trying to throw the ball down the field and scoring, but – there's such class, like, hey, let's There's just take respect. an respect. They, they, they've been in a battle. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is what I like. You know, you're not doing anything crazy. You're not trying to rub it in someone else's face. You just have total respect for each other and each other's communities and schools. And that's why this league is beyond uh, anything, I think, comparable in our state. So there's the Let's see if that'll wrap it up, and that will wrap it up. So the teams will meet at midfield. John, 35-21. Let's summarize this one. Well, I think it, I think it went a lot different than what we thought. I think right, we right. thought, you know, looking on the outside, we think Coldwater was going to dominate. We didn't see that. If you look at the box score, you might see that Coldwater won by two touchdowns. But what I seen was physical football, clean football. Um, two teams that I think will make good postseason runs if you're Coldwater. Um, 
you, you may have made some mistakes like some penalties and some interceptions that you need to clean up, but you can correct those things if you're New Bremen. You're, you're, you're feeling sad right now, but you're going to wake up tomorrow and going into Monday and you're going to feel confident that you can continue to get better and feel like maybe the playoffs are an opportunity for you to, to win some games and make some noise. And that'll wrap it up from New Bremen High School. For John Zerby, our entire WSN crew, I'm Danny Holbrook. Our final score tonight, the New Bremen Cardinals fall to the Coldwater Cavaliers 35-21. You've been watching high school sports on WOSN. <laughs>